Good morning. I'm here at the south shore of Carter Lake. And I believe this is located just outside the city of Loveland, Colorado. Official start time, 10.07. I'm getting kind of a late start today. And that's because I was waiting for the blue sky to come out. All right, let's jump on the Sundance Trail. I'm starting from the South Shore today so I can have the sun at my back. And that's it. Carter Lake, also known as Carter Reservoir. This should be a really nice and mellow hike. Not a lot of elevation gain. Yeah, and it should be out of the wind. I'm going to stop for a second and put on both my jackets, my neck gaiter, and maybe some gloves. All right. I am fully dressed and I'm back on it. Beautiful blue water. Well, the water is not blue. It's just reflecting that beautiful blue sky. It cracks me up when people say the water is blue. I'm like, put some in a glass and look at it. It's not blue. Personally, I think the south side of Carter Lake is a little more scenic because it's a little more open down here. Pretty cool. The jacket combination is really working. I am warm now. I think the secret is to put the thermal ball on underneath and then the windbreaker over top. And that is how I do it. Gradient wise, this hike is a piece of cake. However, it is a little rocky and a little uneven. You gotta watch your step. So far, my plan of staying out of the wind is paying off, but I can just hear it just whipping over top that little ridge up there. Ooh, what's this? I thought it was a big tooth at first, but it's just a piece of bone. This trail basically just goes along the west side of Carter Lake from the south shore to the north shore. See, I feel like the elevation gain really doesn't get much worse than this. These little uphill sections are so short that they're really not a big deal. Yep, and we're up there. 
I'm gonna pull over right here in this little nook and take my jacket off. That's much better. I took off the thermal ball and I left on the windbreaker. And it's a perfect combo. I just heard a tree branch snap. I really hope I'm not getting hunted by a mountain lion right now. I don't think so though. Cats love me. Well, I'm probably 45 minutes into the hike and I was thinking about stopping and turning around but I'm actually getting pretty close to the end here so I'm just gonna keep going but if my memory serves me correctly I think there's still one more big cove here at the end that I've got to go in and around I don't know we'll see yep I'm hitting that final big cove right now and this is probably the worst one you've got to go down and up actually I don't think this was it I think it's up the trail a little further I mean if I remember right it's at the very end This is a beautiful lake though. No boats on it. There are no people on this trail. Yeah, it's a nice little one. Nothing crazy. It's not the most exciting hike. Yep, I'm approaching the last cove. And like I said, this is by far the biggest one. Wow, this is way bigger than I remember it being. I'm coming around the other side of the cove and that really wasn't too bad. It's just a little icy back there. And I'm almost up to the North Shore. I made it around to the far side of the cove and I am pretty close now to the North Shore. Should just be right up here. This is the perfect hike for today. I just wanted something where I could get outside. I didn't want to drive too far. I didn't want to hike through snow and wind. So this is checking all the boxes. Yeah, this trail is really rocky. You have to pay attention. All right, it is just now 1127. So that took an hour and 20 minutes to hike up here to the North Shore. Pretty awesome. I'm gonna find a spot on one of these rocks and sit here and enjoy the view for a few minutes. Da, 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 da. This thing's gonna be either the best thing in the world or the worst thing in the world. But it's about 11.40 right now been sitting up here for a little over 10 minutes but it is time to go it's time to head on back all right let's do it according to the sign it's three miles down to the south shore and that sounds about right this is by far the worst part of the hike it's the steepest 
and also the section with the most snow. Let's go ahead and roll it. So if I bust my ass, it'll be funny for everybody. Wow, this is really slick. I'm making pretty good time on the way back. I've been hiking for about 30 minutes. So I'm thinking I've got maybe 45 or 50 left. I don't know, I feel like I've done a lot of the uphill already. I'm in between giant wind gusts right now. And this is getting real bad out here. I think this is about the only hike I could get away with doing today. I mean, if I would have tried something in Rocky Mountain National Park, that would have been atrocious. We got some deer running across the trail up there. Probably can't see them. But I'm gonna say that the uphill sections definitely seem worse heading in this direction, going from the North Shore down to the South Shore. Yeah, it's like you have to go up all the stairs in this direction. Can you guys see the deer out there? We got the deer up there. I'm trying to come around so the sunlight is behind me. There they are. And then earlier, I saw an Abert's squirrel. Those things are really cool. They're like the size of a small cat. They're real dark colored, and they've got these pointy ears sticking up. They look like little satanic squirrels. The north half of this trail is definitely the more difficult half. If you wanna come out here and hike this trail and you don't wanna do the entire thing, I would park at the South Shore and work it up from there and then turn around when you want to. But if you start from the north, you're gonna have a lot more up and down up there. I wish I had a dollar for every time my toe has hit one of these rocks and it's knocked my knee out of place. I'll probably have about seven bucks. Almost done with this thing. Uh, the South Shore is not too far away at all. I just passed that first picnic table, so I am almost done with this thing. This is the home stretch. We're looking at an hour and 15 minutes to get back, and I'm thinking that's every bit of three miles in each direction. It took me an hour and 20 to get out there and then an hour and 15 to get back. Well, that wasn't the most exciting hike ever, but I hope you enjoyed it anyway. And until the next one, y'all, peace.